Hey, what's up, guys? Can you here? Welcome back to a video of gaming. Today, we are in GTA Online. Uh, I was resorting in uh, all my garage today, so uh, I thought maybe I would show you my car collection in GTA Online that I accumulated over the past uh, almost decade ago. So, we're going to start, start today with inside of my nightclub. I got all my SUV lined up here. Start with these two uh, Chevy Suburban called the Granger in this game. I mounted them into a police vehicle. So I put the police wheel. This one have the push bar in the front. They all painted in black. Also I have uh, I think this one have a exhaust is an option in the back. And this one's the older model. Came out in 2013. Basically the same thing. This one have gray wheels instead of more dark steel, like this one. Then we have two of the Range Rover. This one's the uh, long wheel base version in black with the brown interior. Also have those uh, sportier SUV wheels. Also all of my vehicle have this custom license plate that I made in uh, the early days of GTA Online back in 2013. But anyway, the second one, this is the, uh, what is this, the regular baller. This one's a British racing green color with different wheels. Also have the more basic interior on this one. Uh, this one, uh, what's it called? Yosemite. Anyway, it's a Chevy C10 from the 1960s. This one has the wet bed. I really like uh, this uh, option on this one. It's painted blue. This one's the slam version. Don't really like it. I will prefer to make, have a more stock height, especially park. But uh, I think it, at the second you drive it, the suspension readjusts automatically and you have more of a stock look. So anyway, that's this one. Uh, this one's the Taurus. Anyway, Pegasi Taurus. This one's the Lamborghini Urus. Paint this one in red. Uh, I think these are the uh, stock wheels. Not sure. I think they were looking kind of cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Lambo SUV. Can't go wrong with this one. Uh, this one, the Brawler. This is the supposed to be an electric off-roader, but this one for some reason is a power motor engine. Fuel engine. Uh, this one is painted in bright yellow with some uh, aggressive off-road wheels. Also have another one in the back. Some push bars. And bumpers, extra lights. Turned out okay. Uh, this one's the Dune Loader. Anyway, it's a dual, old Dodge Power Wagon. I really like this model. Unfortunately, no, not a lot of customization options on this one. You can find one without this uh, air intake on the take on the, the side. Uh, you cannot remove the rust on this one, which is unfortunate. Would have been nice to have a clean version. And uh, yeah, no option on this one other than the paint job and the wheels. The Patriot, which is Hummer. I built this one into the Playboy X SUV from Grand Theft Auto 4. So just in bright yellow with some off-road wheels. You have some uh, options you can get on this one uh, that you cannot put on Los Santos Customs. One of them is the uh, guard wheel on the front, which is chrome and the extra pair of lights on the roof. And this is the more recent Patriot that they add later on. This is more based on the regular Hummer, first one. And this one I built up on the ACDC uh, Stiff Upper Lip uh, YouTube video. So this is almost the same vehicle, except this one have the extra grab bar in the back. Maybe this one red. And a few options. Now the goal of my collection is mostly to build uh, realistic vehicles uh, instead of uh, you know putting chrome paint and uh, pink wheels that's not my kind of thing i prefer to go after the realism and uh, that was the goal here for these suv and it's going to be the goal for all of my other vehicles up next we're going for the luxury vehicles so here we have sedans uh, a few coupes coupes and uh, for a few uh, high performance 
four door also. So this one's the Ro uh, Bentley Continental. This is the newer one they made. It's called the Pagan R on the uh, the game. I paint this one in the dark steel blue. I think it looks okay. I could have go with British Racing Green, but I already have a lot of cars with British Racing Green color. So I decided to go for this one, this color. I think it look, turned out okay with those red uh, uh, brake calipers. Looks pretty cool. This is the Rolls Royce weight. It's called the Windsor in this game. Uh, this one's a two tone paint job, blue and uh, silver. Pretty cool. And this is a four door version. Uh, I think this is a throwback from uh, Yusuf, Yusuf Emir from GTA 4 car. He had the uh, Super Diamond convertible. And uh, this one's the uh, Windsor convertible. And you can also find this car in this uh, DLC with the scrapyard. Pan go. So this one's the same style of paint than the uh, coupe, just uh, extra four-door and the, uh, the convertible option. Another GTA 4 car, this is the Cognacentis, this is the, the long wheel base version, same as GTA 4. This one's painted in black with red interior, simple build. Uh, this one's the Stafford, I believe, the old Bentley again. This one looks a uh, mixed bag, I will say. Just brown with white walls. Kind of, I want to uh, build it like a uh, old school version. I think it turns out okay. Uh, I like this car. Just uh, anyway, I think they could have done it, it a little bit better with the extra options or anyway. Move on to this weird car. I think this is supposed to be replicate the uh, Series 7 BMW mixed with some uh, Cadillac's influence, maybe the Cadillac uh, CT7, CT6, you know, a high-end model. So anyway, this car's in the mixed bag, just a basic, really, it's not very my favorite. I keep the original wheels, I think they look okay. And this one's Jaguar, four-door. Again, blue. This one's a really, really nice car to drive, actually. I really like it. Paint this one blue instead of British Racing Green. Again, because I have already a lot of British Racing Green color for English car in this uh, collection. Yeah, we have another Cadillac. This one's the CT5R. This one's called the VSTR in the game. Just red with uh, stock wheels and a little uh, carbon fiber wing in the back. I could have done probably a black wing build for this one, but uh, I decided to go for this red color instead. I think it looks a little bit better. And for finally, for the sedan, we have two a pair of uh, Mercedes. I think this is class E. One's the uh, regular version. This one's armored. I think I picked up this one because they're actually in two different classes, which is quite a weird. This one's the sedan class, and this one's the sports car class. Even though they're exactly the same car. Don't really know to understand the la Rockstar logic on this one. But anyway, there's that. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, number four. It's going to be the last one for this uh, garage here. And this garage, uh, again, more SUVs and, and trucks. Okay. Actually, uh, more trucks. And this one's the Saddler. This is basically a Ford F-250 from the 2013 era. Just a basic truck with construction style wheels. This one has a tow hitch to tow a boat or construction trailer anyway. It's pretty cool. Don't have too many vehicles with tow hitch in this game. It's just unfortunate. Uh, this one's the Contender. It's basically a Toyota Tundra. Build this one in the uh, green, kind of military version. I think you have an option in the back for a cap uh, and put it on this one. And also have this uh, huge uh, off-road push bar in the front with some hooks in case you get stuck. Uh, Ford Raptor. Really like this one. 
I really wish Rockstar eventually put a uh, RAM TRX in this game. They have the uh, Bison, I think this is the basic RAM in the game, but they don't have the uh, TRX version, so hopefully one day they're going to put a TRX in this game. They will go next real nice together. So again, realistic build for this one, just blue with the, the wannabe Raptor stripe on the back. Uh, this one's basically the same truck as the Saddler, but this one's lifted with the uh, crew cab version. Uh, this one I put the extra fuel tank, put the uh, bars in the back, the bed. I keep it stock high because it's pretty cool for off-roading. Instead of just slamming it on the ground, you just ruin the purpose of this truck. And for this one, this is the four. What is this? The 750 Super Duty. It's a monstrosity of a truck in real life. Red with chrome. Thing look cool. Don't have a lot of options on this one. And the uh, exhaust on the back kind of remember me of the uh, little Red Express. So anyway, that's that. And this is one of the trucks that cannot put a custom plate on this one. For some reason. Uh, insurgent. Just a... Uh, uh, armored truck. I'm not an expert on these ones. This is this one's pretty fun to drive because you just you can just mess around with the uh, traffic AI, just slam into vehicles and destroy everything. This one's pretty much untouchable and unstoppable, also. So pretty cool vehicle. Uh, this one's from the Ice DLC. <coughs> Excuse me, just like this fan. This is the uh, Gang Burrito. And this one was also a vehicle for the uh, Lost MC uh, motorcycle gang. So for for some reason, again, you can buy this vehicle, but you cannot buy the uh, the Lost Slam Band, which is uh, a little bit better than this one. So this one I built just like the 18 van, black and red. The Dub Stud 2, this one's a rare vehicle to find in GTA Online. This is the vehicle with the uh, off spare tire in the back. With this guy, you can spawn the chrome and gold dubsta if you want to make some good money on this game. So this is the more of a stock version. Paint this one black with some black wheels. Nothing fancy. And this was the off-road version with six wheels. Same truck. And of course, the uh, bed for the truck. Pickup. And this one's a more of a modern Jeep. Uh, was this called the Camacho. Simple build, again green, black. I like it. This one's also fun to drive, just like the uh, the Raptor over there. So anyway, let's jump to the other garage. Hey. Nah, we don't want to talk to you. <gasps> Shut up. These phone calls are so annoying in this game. It's crazy. This is my Formula 1 car, I have two of them. This is more of the modern one, with the 6-cylinder, that sounds like shit. So in this garage I have mostly muscle cars. All full of them. And uh, this one seems to be all GM models. So we have the Sabre GT. This is the uh, stock version, this is the uh, custom version. This one's ridiculously fast on the straight lines. Uh, this one just put a simple pinstripe blue with the wing for the extra traction and some wire wheels. Compared, this one is more of a traditional muscle look. Uh, yeah. This one's also uh, spawned in traffic in GTA 4, except with the wing. You cannot have it, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite cars in Grand Theft Auto 4, anyway. Uh, the Nova. This one's built as the Yanko version, just blue, with the uh, wannabe stripes of the Yanko. There's that. Uh, the Corvette first generation in red, with seven, six spoke wheels and a little wing in the back for the traction again. I think they came out with a more modern version now in GTA. I think it's called the D1. This one's the regular Blackfin. 
Uh, now we have a four-door Chevelle called the Tulip. This one's red with the R a pink accent on the pearlescent. I think it'll turn out pretty good. I think some Chevelle in real life have this actual uh, flake into it. And of course, again, black stripe. And we have a uh, C2 Corvette in blue. Five spoke. Pretty simple. And we have another Corvette. This one is C7. Orange. Uh, I don't like the uh, itch, no red in this one. I think it's off place. Also, did not put the extra bumper in the front. I think it looks stupid on this car. Uh, Camaro. Again, this one. This one's a Kumao, but I don't like the uh, mirrors on the hood. I think it's it doesn't look appropriate. Kind of wish we had more modification in, onto this vehicle. I think this one have a uh, potential, but kind of left on the table. Then we have after long, long time wait a newer Camaro in this game. The uh, which is called the Vigio ZX. Build this one after a ZL1. With the louvers in the back, it looks okay. And the last one, we have this other Corvette. This is the newer one, the C8. It's blue with the stock wheels. I think this one looks fantastic. Looks almost like a 100% ripoff from uh, Rockstar Games. Ridiculous. How they can get away with such an uh, almost perfect replica without paying the license for the vehicles. So that's the first garage. Let's go to the next one. Gonna jump to number seven. And on this one we have Mopars and Ford. So this is Eleonora version of GTA uh, 5 uh, Ellie, it's called. Just just grey black stripe. Uh, with the wood wannabe style steering wheel don't really like the taillights on this one things looks off but uh, the rest of the car is actually pretty good another Stang, this is the boss 302 style build or mac one kind of looks similar orange with the black wing and louvers i think it looks fantastic it was pretty cool to drive actually also uh this one was called Tahoma Coupe. Okay, this is one from uh, almost San Andreas. Yeah, the Tahoma, but it was a four door, I believe. So this is probably built after an old Oldsmobile car. I don't remember exactly well. I'm not a very specialist on these 1980s cars. But uh, I think this one in brown with the black top and the red stripe. Impaler. This one's a mix of multiple cars, I believe. Looks a bit like the, uh, which is the big uh, Chevy car, not the Impala, but uh, or probably it is Impala because it says Impala. But uh, also have a little bit of the taillights of a Barracuda for some reason. This one just purple with the ah, come on, shut up. Uh, Buccaneer in black, black wheels, simple. I did not really like the uh, custom version, so I just skipped this uh, more stock version. Oh yeah, this one brings me back uh, some uh, memories of playing Need for Speed Pursuit 2. This is the Mustang uh, SVT Cobra R. I built this one in red with the side exhaust. Really like the Dominator on the bottom here. But uh, the only problem of this car is the, uh, the exhaust in the back. They're cut from the bumper, that just doesn't look right, especially if you put the uh, side exhaust on this one. Uh, Firebird in black, just missing the big wing, just like uh, Smokey the Bandit version. Only thing missing, because the rest is just black. Uh, Mustang GT500. This one. Uh, Front does not look right. Looks too much like a Camaro. Back looks okay, except those awful looking taillights. 
And then we have a Camaro here, purple. It's 1970. With the big, uh, huge uh, nose bottle. And finally, we have this one, this uh, Grand National, just in black. Simple. All right, let's go to the next one. It's gonna be the last one for this uh, lot, number four. And here we have a lot of Mopar. So we have a 1970 Challenger in yellow. This one I built after the driver in San Francisco car. Just missing the uh, black stripes. With the uh, wannabe hot caps on this one. Uh, this one's called the Tampa. Also a throwback GTA 4 car. Just blue with white stripes. Could have painted this one purple, but uh, oh yeah, that's why I didn't, purple. I didn't paint this one purple because I already have these three paint purple plus another, another uh, charger, another garage I have in purple. Uh, this one is the Richard's Petty style race car build on this one. Even though this is a Challenger, not supposed it's supposed to be a Plymouth uh, Superbird. I like the tempo liveries on this one. I think it looks kind of cool, even though it's not the right car. Uh, this one's the AMC Javelin. Since based on the uh, more muscular NSC version, I believe, yeah, have uh, over 800 horsepower. So that's why I put the uh, wall bar and the uh, racing seat on this one. Yeah, this one's definitely a Javelin. Uh, Dodge Charger, Hellcat. Plum crazy, can't go wrong with this color. Just look good on these Dodge cars. That's why I have two. I have this one and Charger and the Challenger. I don't think you have the option on the Challenger though to put the uh, Demon Hood. I would have liked that, but uh, for some reason you don't have this option, which is unfortunate. But anyway, then we have two pairs of the Dodge Charger. 1970 version. This one is the, I think this one's the Beater Duke. Yeah, because they have more options. And then this is the regular Duke. This one's the Fast and Furious build. Just very simple black chrome with the big uh, blower. And this is the Duke of it. This is the basically armored version. Looks cool. Really like this car when it came out. And finally, we have this uh, Plymouth Furry in white. I wanted to build the car after the uh, Roscoe uh, Sheriff car from uh, Dukes of Hazard, but uh, this car was by uh, uh, before they came out with the police car DLC, so that's why. It's just white. So that's this reason. Let's go for the other garage. Uh, looks like I got some problem with my uh, controller here. No big deal. Hello? Let's keep going. So, what the hell happened? So now we're gonna take a look at some sports cars from different manufacturer, and also have two sports classic cars because I ran out of space on the other one. This one's the Cobra 427, 426. Uh, no, 427. Excuse me, with some uh, racing decals. Probably gonna rebuild this car into a more stock version. I'm debating on this one because uh, I don't know. Things you feel like it's been a while since I touched this car. Probably need some uh, a refresh. Uh, the Tommaso Pantera, just red with the wing. This one's also remembers me of the uh, car from uh, Flat Out Ultimate Carnage. Yeah, the car is similar to this one, exactly the same as this one, with this wing. Anyway. Uh, Jag XJ220, just gorgeous car in real life. Just a shame that they put the V6 instead of the V12 
into this car. So this one's gray. And this is the uh, XC75 from the James Bond movie. Only produced six of them. And uh, a lot of them have different engines, actually. I think two of them have V8s, one have V12, and two other have, uh, I think, a six cylinder. They use it for different shots and uh, stunts in this movie. I don't think the only two or three of them survive, actually. Car never went in production, which is such a shame. It's just a beautiful car, really. Don't understand why Jaguar didn't pull the trigger on this one. And this car, what's it called? Prior. Um, I'm not really sure what this car is molded into. I'm real. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really don't know. Kind of looks like a bit of a Ferrari mixed with a Jaguar. But uh, no, I'm really confused with this one. So I will let you guys know what this car is based on. Anyway. Let's go with the next floor. When well, it's already nighttime here in uh, Los Santos. Okay, here we have a bunch of McLarens and uh, Koenigsegg. This one's probably based on the uh, CCX. Just red with uh, the big wing and those huge wheels. And this one's the uh, Agera. wing maybe the Agera R for some reason I really like those kind of exact in red <laughs> this is why I have three of them red <laughs> and this is a Jesco and such a shame that Rockstar Games actually destroyed this car these three cars uh, these two cars with the uh, the weird flag that we are need to deal with when we are driving these cars and if you watch Brokey's video you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, this one's the Senna. Emirates. This one looks kind of weird in the front. The rest of the car looks okay. But the headlights on this one just looks absolutely awful. I think they just messed up real bad. Uh, the P1. Not too bad. I think the headlights could have been better again. Fortunately, they did not ruin the F1. That would have been really not acceptable if they had done that, but uh, no. They let the F1 just okay. And uh, what a gorgeous car, really. And this is the same car, but the uh, racing version. With the uh, long tail, also. Like this car in the uh, Gran Turismo games, I think I always win big races with this car. Drives fantastic, especially with the super grippy racing tires. And the last one we have uh, Bugattis and uh, a Pagani and an Aston Martin in the bottom and the uh, the back here. So this is the uh, the Veyron, blue white stripe. Not much modification, not much modification you can do on this one. Then we have the Chiron, in blue. Blue. Big W16 engine on these ones. And then we have the Chiron uh, Vision Gran Turismo. Those, those side mirrors look very strange. But anyway. The rest of the car looks okay. Uh, this one is the... Um, not the Voiture Noir, but the... Uh, Ah, a Devo. Here we go. Devo with a big wing, just like this uh, Vision Gran Turismo. Uh, Chiron. Uh, Porsche 918. Just in grey with those uh, wire wheels. Pagani Wire. I think I would probably repaint this car in other color. I have a little, lot of blue cars on this stage. And the last one, we have the Aston Martin Valkyrie. In the gray, with the yellow accent. All of these cars, really fun to drive. Really cool. like them. Anyway, let's move on to the 
other garage which contained uh, more sports car and I'm gonna finish off with the uh, more classic cars Okay, so let's resume the visit. Now we have a garage full of Lamborghinis. So we have the Veneno mixed with the uh, Sesto Elemento. I built this car more after the Veneno. But also I went into a Batman style car, just painted black with the original wheels. Then we have the Merchalago in yellow. Again, big throwback to Need for Speed Out Pursuit with this one. Then we have the Huracan in orange with the yellow wing for extra traction. And we have the uh, Galardo here, which is one of the oldest cars they put in GTA. This one's called the Vaca. It's in green. Let's move on to the other floor. Kind of move the a little bit quicker effect because I'm already at uh, 30 minutes, I believe, this video. Uh, more Lamborghinis in the back. This is more the uh, recent Countach they had in the game. I mean, this one in red with the uh, traditional Countach wing. I have painted this one white, but I don't like the white color, so I paint this one red. And this one's the Sion, I believe. Lamborghini Sion. Again, I don't like the. Uh, the green that they came out with, the this weird uh, matte green. So I paint this one more a traditional Lamborghini color, which is orange. Take a look, it's fantastic. And this car here is the Reaper. Yeah, the front of a uh, Huracan, but the rest of the car is pretty much like an Hypersport. I also have a little bit of the Huracan in the back. But uh, this is a weird car. Don't really like it. And now we are moving on to the Ferrari. Uh, this one's the uh, California in red. Nice car. Fun to drive. And then we have the Ferrari FF. I think they re also they came out also with another Ferrari similar to this one. It's the GT4 Lusso. Probably based more on this one than the Ferrari FF. But anyway, it's pretty much the same car. It's a Ferrari with a station wagon look. And then we have a whole bunch of Ferraris here. All in red. Because, you know, Ferrari are red. Are yellow. To me. So this is the Enzo. With the weird back. That doesn't look very white. I put this wing only because of the extra traction, because otherwise I would not put it. I'm probably going to be removing it someday. Uh, this was the F12 Berlinetta. Nice car. Or maybe it's a more recent one. I kind of lost track for the Ferrari cars, because they... Uh, I don't know. I can't... Kind of lost interest for these cars because uh, back in the day, Ferrari used to be beautiful cars, but today I just I I don't like them. They just looks ugly and uh, too much too much uh, going on in the design. To be honest, the, the you know the door handles are just too strict. They don't looks like Ferraris, or the bumpers are too charged with uh, extra lip and stuff, and uh, you know. I'm just getting tired of the newer Ferrari. I think the older one looks better. Uh, this one's probably based on the 458, but I'm not sure again because I kind of lost track with the Ferraris. Uh, this one's the uh, our Ferrari, more modern one. Probably the um, 488, I might do something like that. Another Ferrari, similar to the La Ferrari, and this one is part of the 488 GTV, similar to this one. Anyway, enough with uh, sports car. Let's go into more uh, classic vehicles for my other garage, and uh, it's daytime. That coming up in uh, Los Santos. 
I only have a few other garages to go, so I better hurry up. Okay. Uh, Bugatti tip. Uh, what is this? Tip 57 Atlantic, I believe. Just black with those wire wheels. And then we have two Cadillac V8 sedan. One is the Al Capone car. One's more of my personal version. I really like this car. I think it looks fantastic. Especially with the extra, those big white walls. Look, this car just screamed gangster. I like it. And this car here is the, the uh, basically the Hot Rod version of this car. It came out at Halloween in, uh, a few years ago. I really like the uh, skull face on the top of the grill here with the hat. And I really like the engine sound of this car also. I think it sounds beautifully. And then we have this one. This is the Hustler. Basically a sports car coupe from Ford from the 1930s. Again, beautiful car. Just basic pinstripe in blue. It just work. And then we have this uh, hearse here. Cadillac. With the... Uh, Massive coffin in the back. We really like also the um, the horn on this one. Very particular. Bam, 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 bam. Anyway, next floor we have some classic Ferraris and Lamborghinis. This was the Mura, yellow. Then we have the classic Contash. In black. Then we have the Diablo. Super Veloce. With the wing. Then we have the uh, Ferrari. Classic Ferrari racing car. This one's probably my favorite. Just because of the sound. This is the Testarossa. In real life, this car is just... I think this is the best sounding Ferrari in, in real life. I heard this uh, screaming V12 is just... You can't beat that. It's not the best looking Ferrari, but it's definitely the best sounding one, in my opinion. And then we have the F40 right next to it. I get it in red. And then we have this other one. This model looks... It looks a lot like a... Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe, but it's also mixed into, into a 250 GTO, so kind of works. And for the next floor, we're gonna go and see what we have. Things. Oh yeah, Aston Martins. And so a few other cars. We have this uh, Mercedes 300 SL in red. Beautiful car to drive. Just like this one, the uh, Aston Martin DB5. Machine gun don't work on this one. And then we have the uh, V8, the Martin V8. This one was used by Timothy Dalton, I believe. Yes, uh, James Bond. License to kill and uh, I think a view to a kill, if I'm not mistaken. It's based also on a uh, Ford Mustang. I think Mustang also had a model just like this one. DeLorean. Unfortunately, you cannot build this car into a Back to the Future car. So, kind of a shame, but anyway, it's there. Basic uh, DeLorean. And then we have the uh, Jaguar XG13 racing car. Beautiful car. And we have the uh, Strin DS to finish off this garage in blue with wire wheels. Also have a bit of uh, influence from the Maserati starting the uh, SM. Alright, so this garage is complete. Let's go take the F1 and we're gonna move on to the other one. Let's go exit the ground. Uh, where's the Formula 1? Oh, stay on the other the garage. Most wanted, but it's definitely not a BMW. Space on the OZ uh, 
A6, I believe. Newer generation A6. This one's the older one. This is my gold car. This one's blue. And then we have three Audi R8, two of the uh, older generation and one of the newer generation. This one's just blue with a wing. This one's red convertible. Kind of wish that this engine sound was also applied to this one, but for some reason, two of these cars they have completely different engine sound. This one sounds much better than this one. And this is the newer version. In blue. More details. Uh, uh, me. Then we have the Mercedes AMG. This one's uh, almost like the Black Series. In red. And we have the AMG GTR just ne right next to it. In yellow. And then we have this one. This is the uh, supercar that they recently done with the hybrid engine. It looks kind of strange. Not really my thing. But it does drive beautifully in this game. And we have the BMW station wagon. Series uh, 5, I believe. Simple black with uh, custom wheels. And then we have this one. This is a coupe. <sighs> Next one. I'm starting getting tired here. <laughs> Gonna need some more sleep. Okay, Aston Martin, Jaguar, and Porsche. So this one is probably based on the um, DBS. All of my Aston Martins are basically based on the James Bond cars. So just gray with the basic wheels. This one's the 177, five spoke wheels again. James Bond car. Even though I don't think James Bond ever used a 177 in either of his movies. Probably a car to use in the uh, next James Bond after they're probably going to find a new actor to replace uh, Daniel Craig. Anyway. Then we have a few 911s. Uh, this one's the SR, so this is the modified version of this one. With the extra lip, and the wing, body kit, and the different lights also, compared to this one. Then we have the newer Porsche 911 in red. And we have the Cayman, or the GT4 for the Antimis. Uh, it's a TVR, I believe, green. Then we have the Jaguar F type. Shout out to Brody 1332 that absolutely ate both of these cars. The Lynx and the F620. Both Jaguars. Unfortunate, because in real life they are pretty cool cars. But uh, in GTA they are absolutely horrible. And I second his uh, argument. They're terrible to drive. Very bad in races. Don't like bumps, anyway. Rockstar absolutely destroyed these two cars. Oh well. Next garage. Classic cars, I would say. This is basically my build of uh, Christine in the game. Just red with the white top. I choose the convertible because in the uh, hard top version you cannot choose the two different colors. And this is the car. Black with the white walls. We're gonna have to remove those white walls that don't fit the car. Need some black wall, black wall wheels. The Blade, a very, very underrated muscle car in the game. Very cool to drive. Also pretty quick. I just kind of wish that they put the uh, stock height instead of this uh, slam and uh, offset suspension on this one. Uh, this one's the Chino. Just said. Uh, for Thunderbird, 
basic green. Then we have the Hermes blue with the. Uh, this was a troll bag basically from GTA San Andreas. And we have another Thunderbird red. And we have the Ghostbusters Cadillac. Enormous car in real life and in the game also. Uh, now we have a big Buick four-door car. Purple. This one looks pretty cool. like those big uh, four-door cars. Uh, and then we have a 58 Impala. This one is built after the easy one, even though you don't have a 64 Impala in the game, so I have to pick this one to make it. And then we have another big Cadillac El Dorado in another color, in blue. Number four. More cars. Uh, it's just a basic uh, hearse, very slow. Probably based on the Lincoln uh, town car. Ford Hot Rod from the 1930s. Classic Oldsmobile. Uh, probably a Delta 88 from the 1950s. It's pretty cool. Just basic blue with white walls. Rusty Ford pickup truck. Then we have the Offroad Beetle. This one has a lot of potential. Unfortunately, not much modification you can do to it. It's kind of a shame. You can not even change the back tires. Fig go figure. Then we have this uh, duo here of uh, Runers. Both Pontiac Firebirds are Chevy Camaros. Depending on the angle you're taking a look at them. And then we have the old Chevy Suburban in black. I kind of replicate this one after the uh, the police FBI truck from San Andreas. And we have the Slam Band pickup truck. Just basic blue with the wood bed. Just like my C10 I show you in the previous garage okay last one after we go for the next one uh, American cars mostly on this one so we have the NSCS C1 I believe for this one making this one black for the interior Two Ford GTs, my favorite one, the 2005 version. This one's in Golf Racing, orange and blue. And this is the newer version, 2017 blue, with the six cylinder instead of a V8. Really don't like this modification to it. Then we have the uh, dragster or gasser version of the <coughs> Thunderbird. <coughs> Pretty damn cool car. Just in red with a simple racing livery. Ford Crown Victoria, Police Interceptor. This is probably a decommissioned version. This one has a much potential. Fortunately, not much uh, options you can put on it. Two of the Viper. This one's the white body kit. And we have this other one, the uh, standard version. A Charger, this is a 2014, 15 version, 2014, when they rechanged the mold for the first time. And then we have the Challenger ne next to it, in purple. And to finish off, we have this uh, Maserati Quattro Porti in uh, gray. Let's move to the next one. But without the hatchback. So the Toyota A4 
AE86. Oof. Oh my god, I'm tired. Excuse me. <laughs> and then we have two of the uh, Sultan. I built these ones after Subaru WRX, but uh, they are based on multiple cars the uh, fourth generation Evo and also the Lexus ES300. So, depending on the, the car you want to build, I decided to go for Subaru. And we have the Supra. Is that a Supra? Yeah, is that a Supra? White. With the correct wing. The RX-7. <coughs> Beautiful car in GTA 5. With really well done. Also drive very nicely. Then we have the Kuruma. The regular one. Which is the Evo. We also have the armored version. Very uh, practical for uh, missions. GTR black first car you can ever get in gt online for free another gtr this is the r32 in silver here we go next garage whoops they spawned me quite a bit far here Yeah, this one's a mixed bag. Start with this piece of shit here. This uh, Russian Lada car. All rusted in white. No modifications to it. One thing missing on this one is a dead body and a few bags and, and uh, cases of uh, vodka. Uh, Renault 5 Turbo. This is the electric version, fortunately, not the uh, gas power model. Make this one a yellow with buffalo wheels. Then we have this one, this is the Acura NSX racing car. Really like it, drives really nicely. Uh, I think this one's based on the Lexus LFA, kind of, could be wrong. Then we have another race car. Hatchback Civic. Red, FVW bus, and we have the FG cruiser. Look at that, in blue. Really wish this one had the uh, spare tire in the back, but unfortunately, no options to put on this one. Okay, let's go to the last garage now. Okay, last garage. It's gonna be my auto shop. Oh, I have two customer vehicle to take care of. Anyway, so I have a whole bunch of race car on this one. I have all the um, the uh, anyway the cars you can get on the single player doing the races. This is the Buffalo Sprunk. Then we have the Redwood Gauntlet, the uh, Pissoir for Dominator. And the Burger Shot Stallion. Then we have this uh, stock car, like based on a Chevy uh, Monte Carlo. Looks pretty cool. Number 62. Then we have this old one from the 1950s. With this uh, drift car based on the Mustang from uh, Ken Block. And two Formula One cars, the old classic V12 one, and the more recent with the crappy six cylinder. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video of my collection of GT Online cars, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.